Okay, so welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. A risk disclaimer, trading equities, futures, and cryptocurrencies involves central risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So if you're new here to Bookmap, uh, more information, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a 14-day free trial of Bookmap. It comes with education. Okay, What you get is the... Um, the 14 days of the platform. Uh, you will need a data uh, provider. I'll get to that in just a minute, but it also includes the educational course. You get access to that, it's four parts. Uh, secondly, you get access to the, uh, the advanced order flow webinars, uh, and those start in about a half hour uh, following this webinar. Uh, and then there's other uh, educational resources as well. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, let's take a quick look at the website. You can see digital currencies coming soon. Uh, probably another week or so uh, for the release of Bookmap 7. Okay, I'm going to demo Bookmap 7 for you, so you will uh, uh, you, know, you can ask any questions, and um, uh, you know we'll go through some of the new features. Uh, some great stuff, uh, in incredibly uh, powerful now. Uh, all sorts of new features, and I'll just have to to cover them uh, over time here. Anyway, there's an intro video here at bookmap.com as you scroll down. Uh, it's a couple of minutes long. Uh, that just uh, gives you an overview, uh, as well as this about section here, gives you an overview of what's going on. Uh, there's bookmap um, uh, for equities as well. Uh, so it, it is through this uh, NASDAQ total view here. If we continue on down, uh, connectivity. Okay, so um, we will have the, um, connection to the digital currencies soon. So, uh, uh, you know, it can answer your questions on that. Uh, but uh, you can see the different um, data providers and brokers that we connect to here, okay? So this is for futures uh, and for uh, US equities, okay? So you can also see here, we have some platforms involved. Uh, Ninja Trader, Interactive Brokers, Traders Workstation, and TTX Trader Pro. Uh, these are three platforms that we, we connect Bookmap via the API. Okay, so um, uh, that's one way of connecting. Uh, however, we are a platform just as they are, so you connect them direct. You can connect Bookmap directly through the data providers. Okay, so CQG, Rhythmic, uh, Gain Capital, uh, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, and then for U.S. equities uh, through that uh, Dev Experts. Okay, and then uh, shortly the um, uh, cryptocurrencies. Okay, a bit further down, here's the pricing information and the trial. Uh, you get the 14-day trial period. Uh, there's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and then for Quants. Okay, so it's $49 per month. Now, after that's after the 14-day trial, uh, and $99 per month uh, for the Bookmap Advanced. Okay, so what do you get, uh, the, or what's the difference between the two? Okay, the difference is primarily the add-ons here. One is the ability to trade from the chart. Uh, nice advantage here because you have the liquidity heat map in front of you. Uh, therefore, you can front run high liquidity and hide stops behind uh, areas of high liquidity. Okay, uh, then there's a host of proprietary indicators that we put together. Uh, large lot tracker and iceberg detector, for example. Uh, these two uh, add-on indicators are starting to identify larger players. Uh, so not only liquidity uh, and uh, order flow uh, issues, but also just larger players uh, in the market. Uh, and that's a distinct advantage. So being able to see where larger players are holding the majority of liquidity uh, or where they're getting filled with their hidden orders using the iceberg detector. Uh, you can also see that there's some imbalance indicators here. Uh, for volume and order book imbalance, as well as a correlation tracker. Okay, quants, uh, you can reach out to us here, click learn more. Um, we work with several quants uh, connecting your uh, own data. Uh, it might be offline uh, as well that you want to use your studies for. Uh, whatever it might be, we can work with you, uh, API connectivity and your proprietary indicators. Okay. I've been several several quants uh, recently, so um, uh, if there's any one of you out there, just uh, reach out to us at uh, uh, support at bookmap.com. Okay, now uh, if you're new to uh, to bookmap and to 
uh, the markets, uh, you can click here for a, um, a data feed. So uh, you can get a 14 day trial period of data because we're not a data provider, we're a software platform. Uh, and um, uh, you can uh, align that 14 day trial period of data with the 14 day trial period of bookmap, the basic or advanced. Okay, and if you want a more comprehensive list of all the different features, you can click here. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. On Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro. Okay, you get up to date information about uh, uh, product information, retweets from others, etc. Uh, you can follow us here also on uh, YouTube and. Um, there's an intro video here. Uh, if you're new, uh, I would recommend going through some of the intro videos just to get a feel for what's going on. Uh, 6.0 uh, overview, for example, here. Uh, and then uh, some of the features and components to go through some of those to see and understand what bookmap is. Uh, but these order flow video snippets. Now this is what we go through in detail in the advanced uh, order flow uh, webinars, live market, uh, looking at the phenomena in bookmap. Okay, the various order flow phenomena and then going through them in detail. Now these uh, videos here are very concise. They go through that phenomena and the concept of them, uh, but then uh, the details we go through uh, in, the, uh, in the webinar. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, jump into bookmap and uh, take a look here. All right, what are we looking at? Well, this is actually Bitcoin. Uh, and um, I want to make a distinction here. So maybe you guys are interested in uh, trading some of the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, and um, uh, this is uh, Bitcoin here, but it's not through the futures. It's Bitcoin is now available uh, on the CME as well as the CBOE. Okay, and I can show you Bitcoin here uh, from the CME. Okay, here it is here. All right, and we're going to see a big, big distinction between the offering here on CME and then what we're going to be offering here shortly on uh, GDAX, the GDAX uh, exchange. Uh, here you can see it on the CME. Here's your liquidity in the heat map here, the current order book over here. You're looking at high liquidity as being two contracts or three contracts. That's it. There's not much liquidity here at all. I mean, it's, it's basically untradeable, okay, unless you're going for a much longer term. Uh, and uh, if we look here, though, at um, the GDAX, look at the liquidity here. There's tons, okay? I mean, uh, we, we can see the amount of coins here uh, at some of these price levels. Actually, a little bit thin today, uh, to be honest, but you can see five, 34 coins up here, okay? Uh, 11 coins, 9 coins right here. Uh, and you can see the spread as well. It is one tick wide, okay? So uh, you can see there, there's, plenty of, uh, there's plenty of liquidity here. Uh, to get involved in uh, in the GDAX, uh, and this thing moves. So uh, for speculators, this is going to be an excellent uh, uh, platform to uh, uh, get involved with um, uh, the uh, digital currencies. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the uh, the Nasdaq. Okay, and um, jump back here. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. All right, you can see here we, this uh, this white line is in uh, the new new um, uh, bookmap uh, 7.0 as well. This is the historical VWAP, right? So those of you who are interested in trading uh, back to uh, uh, the um, uh, most uh, traded uh, average uh, price, well, you can uh, see how that relates here. And actually, pretty pretty nice uh, display for it uh, immediately here this morning. We're right in the middle of the range. Okay, uh, so um, uh, funny funny to see that. Um, but uh, uh, any of those larger players, well, they'd be looking to, to buy here at VWAP or maybe a little bit below if they want uh, if they're looking for a continuation to the upside. Okay. Very simple stuff here. Looking at uh, at bookmap in the volume columns here, we can see that uh, we have a very nice P-shaped profile here. So it looks like it's good for continuation uh, to the upside. Uh, but uh, uh, that's just uh, some volume profile uh, uh, analysis. Uh, let's just go through bookmap and some of the basics here. Okay, we're uh, not uh, uh, trading one specific style 
there's many different ways to look at uh, this product here uh, to integrate within your trading style. So uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, there's a lot of, uh, looks like a lot of data here. It's actually pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, there's only three elements here. If, let me take the um, VWAP off for the moment here. Uh, iceberg, some of the some of the indicators here. Take those off. Okay, three elements on this chart, and that's it. Okay, this is no derivative of time, price, or volume. This is a very objective view of the market. So let me explain. First element we're looking at here is the historical best bid and offer. Okay, uh, in this window here, you can see current best bid and offer. Red line is the best offer, green is the best bid, and then that's just recorded. That's it, historical best bid and offer. No derivative of time or price. It's just the uh, what was the price. Uh, and then we're looking at these dots here. Uh, these are transactions. It's volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. That's the second element. Okay, the third element here is this colored heat map. That's new in Bookmap 7.0. For those of you who uh, uh, are maybe in trial right now, you probably you have then the uh, uh, the grayscale heat map, which I, I like quite a bit. Uh, very classic look here. Uh, but um, uh, make a distinction between the two here, uh, and why this is going to be an advantage using that colored heat map. Okay, let's uh, let's jump back to it. Okay, is that we can see there's going to be some some details here in the liquidity that the colored heat map can display that the, the um, uh, gets a little obscured uh, with the grayscale heat map okay so you can see that uh, right in this area here well you can see that they, they started to add liquidity from uh, uh, you can see dark gray is lowest level of liquidity and then it gets into blue which is higher than white yellow uh, orange and then red this one's red uh, so the areas of red are the highest liquidity. Okay, so they were interested in selling up here, and you can see them starting to uh, layer in uh, with liquidity up here. Okay, also down here, here, and here. And ultimately, uh, they pulled this liquidity, uh, and it traded up into this area, but um, uh, they uh, they pulled, and basically what we have is just we didn't find buyers up here to to take this any higher. So we we've we've come back right down into the middle of the range. Okay. So anyway, uh, before I get into uh, uh, some of the analysis of the uh, the order flow here and what Bookmap is showing you and how to use it, uh, let's just go through these three elements. Okay. The uh, historical best bid and offer, uh, the volume dots, uh, and this heat map. Okay. And the best way to go over this is to first take them all off uh, and just show you a candlestick. Okay. Here's a candlestick chart. All right. And why uh, this is um, really a, a disadvantage uh, using a candlestick chart here. Uh, it's very simple because it's aggregated okay, within a, a, a bar here. The data is all aggregated. And that, that's taking, it's taking a clump of data uh, and then just um, kind of just plopping it all down in, into uh, a form here, uh, and this form being five minutes. Okay? That's a problem because there's all sorts of detail here that we're, we don't have now. Okay? It's obscured. Uh, so I like the simplicity of a candlestick chart, and I think it can be very telling. Uh, but uh, we want more information here. Uh, we're making uh, important financial decisions, and uh, with Bookmap, uh, you're going to get insight uh, into these areas here. Okay, so for example, microstructure. Well, what happened in this 15-minute period here? You know, we, you start to put maybe together some of the candlestick patterns, but we're still not bullish here. Like, uh, you're not bullish until uh, basically up here on the candlestick pattern, right? A close above a high here. Right. Well, then you only get a few points uh, up into this area. Now I'm going to show you uh, this just a historical best bid and offer is going to allow us to see microstructure in details here. Okay. So there is a little microstructure down here. Okay. It's not much, uh, but there is something. So what happened is price came down here. And let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay. So within this five minute period here, or this 15 minute period, let's say, this is what occurred, okay? First we broke down below this microstructure here, okay? Here's the low, 
here's the low, here's the low, and we broke down. Okay, we came down to new lows out of the structure. Okay, and it accepted down here for a period of time. We even had a retest here, came back down, retested the low again, and then went sideways. This is another structure. This structure too was broken within this five minute period here, and we don't see any of that data within that five minute candlestick. And we can see the move up above here. Now it, it is broken above and accepted above this structural area here, okay? And you can see the retest here, once, twice, and then a little bit higher here. That's what happened within this five minute period. This candle has a big wick up here. This is actually showing kind of bearish uh, behavior, right? Because it's, it's looking like there's sellers up here and look like uh, per, potentially a uh, uh, continuation to the downside. Okay, would it be better if this body was red, but we didn't get that. Uh, anyway, the point being here uh, is we're, we're getting much more insight with this uh, historical best bid and offer. Okay, and um, we can see the uh, the structure broken, except it above, and then we have price uh, a discovery even above that. Okay, and uh, and we came up to new highs. Okay, all of that kind of information uh, is insightful. Okay. Now we want to also understand the volume. Okay. Where did the, where did the um, transactions take place? Okay. And this is look, reading the tape, the order flow. Okay. Well, you can see the sellers here uh, driving price lower. And how, why is that? Okay. Or how is that being displayed? Here's, here's how it's being displayed in bookmap. Okay. Look at the, the selling here. The red dots here are aggressive market sell orders. Okay. The uh, uh, green dots are aggressive market buy. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit closer here. So these are those first two elements. We haven't gotten to the heat map yet. First element was just historical best bid and offer. The second element now is the um, transactions on historical best bid and offer. Okay, so now we can understand where the volume's trading. And look at the uh, aggressive selling here. Quite a, quite a bit more here uh, on the sell side. Um, they took liquidity off of the best bid. They crossed the spread. And they paid up for it. And um, when they hit that market sell button, the transaction occurs here and the red dot is painted. Okay, green dot is a market buy that took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, so they're continuing to hit the bid pretty hard here, uh, as you can see. Okay, now we're down at um, five seconds here of data between each vertical dotted line. Let's continue to zoom in here, okay? And let's see really what happened. Uh, and we can go down into, uh, you know, we're looking at microseconds now, millions of seconds between uh, these dotted lines here, okay? We can continue to zoom in, okay? We're looking at now nanoseconds, okay? We're looking at billions of seconds, okay? Bookmap can handle that. Uh, its complex event processor can handle all of this data. So we're giving you every single element in the market, okay, as it came in. Uh, and, uh, and we're just plotting that data uh, here on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, so now we don't trade at those levels, so when we zoom out and we continue to zoom out, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna uh, aggregate just graphically Okay, we have all of this data here, every single event, but as we zoom out, we're gonna, we're gonna aggregate graphically uh, this into bigger dots, okay? And you can see that uh, uh, we get the overall shape of these dots too. Let me bring up the scaling here just a little bit, okay? So uh, here, for example, look at this pie display, okay? Uh, there was a lot of volume that traded here, but there's both buying and selling within this area. And we can use this data tip tool to know exactly what traded within this uh, area here, okay? This cluster, 761 contracts traded here. Okay, we get the date, the time, what was on the bid here uh, at this price level, and then the volume that traded here, okay? And the, at this price level, it's giving me, because it's so many transactions, we're giving the VWAP of that price level. Okay, so uh, that's the um, uh, traded volume here. And um, uh, we give you that overall delta and shape of that volume on the historical best bid and offer. So what we're looking at here uh, in Bookmap is uh, uh, understanding the volume, uh, not from just like a subchart here in the candlestick. Okay, candlestick, you'll see a volume subchart, which 
is completely opaque because it's not giving you uh, understanding of where that volume traded on that candlestick. Okay, like for example, look at the cluster of volume down here. So in this wick, there was very there wasn't a lot of volume compared to a lot of the volume down here at this uh, into this lower structure. Okay, that's an advantage here is being able to understand where that volume is trading. Now, for those of you who use footprint charts, um, uh, you know, you're gonna um, uh, see this volume as well, but you're gonna see it aggregated too, and within a bar. Okay, it might be a volume bar, it might be a Renko bar, it might be a rotational bar, it might, it, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be aggregated, okay? Now, that, that the disadvantage that you get with that is not understanding this, this order flow here. Uh, this is a classic reversal here uh, in the order flow. Okay, and why is that? Well, look at all the selling. Look at the retests into this area. Look at the exhaustion down here. We don't see a lot of selling here. And then we see buyers starting to lift the offer in this area here. Okay, so we're looking for higher highs now and price discovery to the upside. Okay, and in fact, we get a pullback to where we broke from here. Okay, it even could have pulled back a little deeper. It did not. Okay, and we found more buyers. Okay, and they pulled price up and made new highs for the session, as you can see. All right, that's the kind of insight that you're getting with the volume, showing you where, how much, what type, uh, exactly when, in the microstructure, in the context of the structure. All right, and those are just two elements. We haven't even covered the heat map yet. Okay, so let's get to the heat map. Let me bring this dot size down a little bit. Okay, and let's take the, the candlestick off here for now, and let's put the uh, the heat map on. Okay, so now what we're looking at in the heat map uh, is where they're bidding and offering. Okay, and we're looking at this historically here. So how do we how do we derive all that information? Well, let's take a look at current market. Okay. Uh, in your current market here, okay, everything to the left of this vertical white line here is all historical data. Okay, this is what happened. Uh, everything to the right of it is current market. Okay, so here's your best bid and offer. This is your last traded volume, uh, and then we see the price ladder here, and then we see the um, the current order book column. This is showing me my uh, depth of market. Okay, this is your dome. Uh, you can see the um, uh, depth here on the uh, on the offer, uh, and then your depth on the bid down here. And you see the high liquidity here in the numeric values. Okay, what Bookmap does is it takes these numeric values, uh, and then it paints them in the heat map here in this window. Okay, in fact, let me let me change this back to the uh, might be a little bit easier uh, to understand with the uh, oranges being the highest area of liquidity. Okay, just a little more contrast. Um, okay, so uh, now we're, we can very easily and quickly see areas of high liquidity in the offer and the bid. Okay, well, here they are. Larger players are, are down here, or the majority of the liquidity is down here at this uh, 27, uh, 40, and, uh, and a half. And we're starting to read now that as price is coming down, they're starting to pull, okay? Because it, it, it went from, uh, what, 1,100 down to, you know, now 1,030 uh, or something. So, uh, and, and they just pulled a, a, a bunch of that as it's coming into this area. So we just made a distinction between uh, high liquidity here and their intent to trade. Okay, And we those numeric values were painted in the heat map. And you can see that we recorded them and then plotted it onto the chart. And that's that third element here that we're looking at. Okay, very simple. Uh, we're just looking at the um, uh, record of the dome. Okay, so now we can start to piece together, though, all sorts of information. Okay, we can see where they're interested in bidding and offering in the auction. Okay, this is an important part of order flow that uh, most other platforms they they just don't they don't display this. Okay. But we, we know exactly what's going on here. Uh, we know that uh, this was fake liquidity here at this uh, 40 and a half level because they pulled. They don't have intent to trade here. Okay, Where are they showing uh, intent to trade? Well, maybe a little bit down here at 39 and at 38. That's where the higher liquidity is. 
Okay. Now let's put this into context too. Okay. Why are they down here? Well, look at the structure. Okay. It's at the swing low. They're just below the low here. So it looks like buyers uh, are, are they're, they're like responsive buyers. They're looking for this being an, an area where maybe stops get triggered. Uh, they want to uh, provide liquidity. They'll take the other side of that trade. Okay. And um, uh, they're looking to uh, most likely trade it back into either VWAP or point of control or maybe to the other side of the range or maybe even more. Okay. But that's where they're, that's where they want to bid uh, or that's where they are bidding is down here. Okay. Note the below the swing, this micro swing here as well at 39. Okay. Not as much interest down here, but uh, you can see them here. All right. So anyway, uh, that's the kind of insight that you can get. Uh, and uh, that's the uh, third element here looking at the heat map. Okay. So uh, that's the uh, complete view of the market. Very, very objective information. Okay. It's, no, it's not an indicator. It's not uh, a, a derivative. It doesn't, it doesn't lag. This is a complete view of the market. Okay. It's the um, best bid and offer, the, the transactions, uh, and the um, uh, liquidity uh, in that auction and understanding that auction. Okay. Now, uh, what we do in the next webinar is we put all of this into context okay, and starting to understand these areas here uh, and their interest. Okay, because uh, that's really what this is about. Uh, it's a dynamic marketplace, and we want to understand the context of the players in this market. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's wrap it up. And uh, if you're signed up for the um, uh, in trial or if you have the product, then uh, we'll see you in the next webinar. Okay, thanks, guys.